Hey guys, how's it going? It's Soundkiller, and today I'm going to show you how to make some really cool sequences using pigments. So if you don't have a copy of pigments but you want to follow along, make sure to click the link down in the description so you can get a copy of pigments. So with that said, let's hop into our dot and get started with this tutorial. So before I actually start this tutorial, I want to give a huge thanks to our sponsors, Arturia, for giving me the tools to create this awesome tutorial. And I also want to thank our new sponsor, Plugin Boutique, where you get pigments, Arturia plugins, and many others at a great discounted price. So if you want to check it out, it's always in the link down in the description. So I'm going to go here, click new preset. It's going to give me this empty patch, which I want to use the analog engine. I'm going to start by clicking here and quantizing notes. So I know that I want this notes here. I'm going to disable all the notes that I don't want. I want C, D sharp, G, D sharp, maybe F. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here into my function tab and I'm going to link this into my course pitch. <laughs> And as you can hear, just for reference and fine tuning, it's one octave up. And I'm going to start by clicking here into the draw mode. I'm going to set it on set mode. And now I can start drawing our sequence that I want to make here. And since it's quantized, is it's always going to be on key. So if, for example, this random sequence that I made here. It's a bit fast and I can adjust it. And just like that, I created a really quick sequence. And I can add more oscillators here to this sequence. Just to make it a bit more vintage, more analog. And now what I want to do is, since this is routed to filter one, I want to create a pluck for every note. I'm going to be using the LFO for that. Now I'm going to go here into the LFO. I'm going to set it to unipolar so that it goes up and down. And I'm going to set it to sync. I'm going to create a sort of saw wave here. And now I can go here into engine number two, route it into filter number two. And create a second function here, which could be slower. So set it like that. Again, route this second function. Quantize it again, maybe instead of having so many notes, just having the G and the sharp. And then creating this sort of And then instead of having a saw, we can add a square wave. 
routed here with a bipolar LFO. And then create even more movement here, for example. I like that movement that I was doing manually, so I'm gonna go here into LFO2. I'm gonna. I wanna add a sub, so I'm gonna enable oscillator here. I'm gonna route it directly into FX bus number A. And I'm going to add a filter, which is going to affect all of the sequence. Which is also going to be controlled by LFO number two. I'm going to add another filter. And this one is going to be a comb filter, just to give it some more harmonics. And then this one is going to be controlled by LFO number one. I'm going to add some noise as well. And now I'm going to route this into a track. I'm going to use some plugins, starting off with some delay. I'm going to use um, Tape Delay by Arturia, which is available in the VFX bundle, which is really well worth it. So if you want to check out, again, Links down in the description as always. I'm going to set it to ping pong. I want to add some preamp so it gives it a little bit of distortion and some analog saturation. I'm going to set it to number one here. And now I'm going to add some sync so that it is on beat here with the sequence. Now, the cool thing about the sequence is that you can start creating really cool things. For example, you can raise this one up an octave and it's still going to keep the quantization. So it's going to sound really great. We can add also some reverb. So we have here reverb intensity again from the VFX bundle. We have some really cool presets here that we can check out to create some really unique sounds. So for example, we can also mix this up a little bit by adding some compression, some distortion. Something that I really love to do with these kinds of sounds is adding Tape Mellify. This plugin is amazing. It really gives some character and tone to your sounds. So it's really well worth it. It adds sort of like a warble, like a sort of wobbling tape effect, and it works really well before delay because then it sort of detunes the delay and creates a really nice stereo effect. And you can add some drive to saturate it up a little bit more.
And of course, you can also EQ it in post by adding some EQ here. Maybe so, for example, if you want to cut a little bit of the low end. At around maybe 80 hertz. And maybe you want to boost a little bit the high end. Add some character. And you made a really cool sequence using pigments. And of course, pigments comes with a built-in sequencer, but you can't do multiple sequences using the sequencer tab. You can, however, do some really other cool things and some polyrhythms, which are really awesome. But you can always go a bit more complex using the function tab here. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you Plugin Boutique for sponsoring this video. So if you want to get any of the plugins that you saw on this tutorial, you can head down in the description, click the links for purchase. Plugin Boutique has a lot of deals and discounts. So if you want to get the best price, head on over for Plugin Boutique. This was Soundkitter. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.